Are we live? Can people see me? Hello. Hello. Hola. Salut Alexa, je m'appelle Néa. Néa, bonjour. Néa et bonjour à toute l'Inde. Hello to the whole of India. Know that uh, I have a lot of followers in India and uh, love you. I love you guys because you are supporting my channel and you take learning French super seriously, I tell you. So I'm very proud of all of you out there who are studying with me uh, from India. Seriously. Uh, bonjour, bonjour tout le monde. Uh, bonjour. Uh, super, super good to see you all. Um, and uh, bonjour Shreya, bonjour Jonathan, bonjour Sonila, bonjour. And I know I'm missing a lot of names, okay? But it's really, really good to see you guys. Okay. Bonjour Ruani, bonjour Tripti, Honesty, uh, Val or Vala. Bonjour Michael, bonjour. Uh, I have to do an assignment. Can you suggest me two verbs to write in every sentence? tenses. Okay, I'm going to start with this uh, this um, uh, question. And then what I'm going to do after that is cover the reflexive verb because people have asked me for that in the passé composé. So I'm going to do two things here. I'm going to have a look at the passé composé and then how to use the passé composé with the reflexive verbs. Okay, so I'm going to do that very, very quickly. The main verb, guys, that you must know absolutely if you want to be able to speak, you know, are the top 20 verbs. But within these 20 verbs, we have avoir. And I'm going to put myself small here. Okay, here we go. You must learn avoir. You must learn être. Okay, so avoir is to have. And I mean, I've said that so many times before. Okay, these are auxiliary verbs. They will allow you to uh, talk in the past tense. And we are going to have a look at that in a minute. Okay, uh, Amal. Oh, I love you too. <laughs> bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. Alors, avoir, Aditya, Aditya, that's another one. Can you suggest another verb for me? Can you suggest another verb? Okay, so we've got the avoir and être. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay, être. We've got être. Okay, that's really good. Okay, can you faire? Okay, I like that. Faire. That's another one to do. Okay, to do. Faire. It. Oh, it means to. Alors, aller. Definitely verbs that you need to know. Okay, aller. Uh, bonjour de la Croatie. Oh, I've got some Croats uh, watching me. Excellent. Uh, Kenya. Hello, Kenya. Devoir. That's definitely a verb you must learn. And it means must or to have to. So I must. Je dois. Uh, passé is a good one too. Passé. Now, passé is to pass or to give something or to pass by. It has lots of different meaning, passé, and is used in a lot of different idioms as well. Uh, savoir, savoir is a good one. Thank you for your suggestion. Savoir is to know, but it means to know how to do something. For example, I know how to swim would be je sais nager. And the other one verb that is uh, also to know is connaître. And so I have done a video on ver connaître versus avoir, uh, savoir in the past. So watch that one too. Soutenir. Hmm. I'm not sure I'm going to vivre, parler, if you want. Okay. Some, some verbs, parler, to talk, is a useful one to know. Prendre. That's another uh, useful one to know. Prendre, to take. Okay. So we've got prendre. Rencontrer. Okay, that's very good. I won't write it down because I've run one more space. Uh, prendre. Venir. That's a good one too. Venir. Okay, to come. Okay. And I can think of another one as well. It's Pouvoir. Okay, I'm not sure whether attendre, to wait, boire, to drink. Now, if you look at the comments, please write down all these verbs, okay? Um, Mohamed, I'm going to do the verbs of movement in a minute and how to conjugate them in the past. Okay, so bear with me. Um, so I tell, tell you what, I'm going to get rid of passé for a minute and I'm going to add pouvoir, okay? To, to be able to, to can. Well, I know we can't say that, but anyway. Uh, manger, yeah, it's to eat, apporter, to bring, mettre, to put. Um, okay, so, uh, je, 
Euh, Neha, je t'aime. Je voudrais aller en France. OK, Neha. Well, um, it's not impossible to come to France. I know that sometimes, you know, it's hard money-wise or whatever, but there are ways of doing it. I suppose that you could uh, join a, um, a, a school that, uh, you know, um, uh, takes you to or, or gets you in university in France or things like that. There are schemes like that uh, that allows you to, to live in France, you know, legally, <laughs> if I say that, you know. And, um, and uh, also, if you... Um, Uh, wanted to spend a week or two as well you know in terms of visa you can if you know if people know that you are coming for two weeks to learn the language so there are ways of doing that it, it's quite pricey I suppose but um, there are ways of doing that okay Palestine oh bonjour descendre bonjour la Palestine descend to go down so uh, for the past if it ends with an ER then we change to an E with an accent pauvre I'm going to come to it now. Are we ready, guys? Okay, vendre, to sell. Uh, Arabie Saoudite, bonjour, and hello to the whole Arabie Saoudite. Saudi Arabia, I know that we are watched a lot in Saudi Arabia, so lots of love to you guys. Uh, and Ten is in French lessons. Ten, shouldn't you be in your French lesson and listening to your French teacher? Unless all of you guys are listening to me. Uh, do we have a class, a classroom listening to me at the moment? Let me know uh, if you have. Tammy, Tammy, bonjour Tammy. And Tammy, I wish we had met last week. You know, don't, don't worry. You just have to ask. If you want to meet me, you can. Okay. Bonjour à l'Afghanistan, Massachusetts. Oh, I can't say it. Massachusetts. Massachusetts. <laughs> okay. Let me have a look at the passé composé and take it one step at a time. Okay. Are you ready, guys? When you want... To conjugate something in the passé composé, it is quite simple. It's like a recipe. You've got to take three ingredients. Are you ready? The first ingredient is the subject pronoun. By subject pronoun, I mean it can be je, it can be tu, it can be il, it can be elle, and so on. That's known as the subject of the sentence. The second major ingredient for the passé composé is an auxiliary verb. Okay, the auxiliary verb is going to be the yeast that is going to make the bread rise. Okay, without this, you will not be able to conjugate in the past tense. Okay, so you must have the auxiliary verbs. Okay, what are the auxiliary verbs? But I know that you know, guys, it is être and avoir. And the auxiliary verbs are conjugated in the passé composé in the present tense. Okay, so I'm going to write présent here. Okay, can you say that? So, présent. So, how do you conjugate the auxiliary verbs in the present? Well, we have avoir here. Can you see that? Avoir here is conjugated with the présent. Okay, in the present. Tense. So what do we do? I have, j'ai. Okay, you learn this by heart. The same as if you want to succeed and start learning French properly, start learning all these verbs in the present, in the passé composé, in the future. Okay, and that will get you quite, you know, far. So avoir, avoir in the present, j'ai. Tu as, il a, elle a, on a, nous avons, vous avez, ils ont. Quite simply, okay? And you must absolutely learn that. J'ai, tu as, il a, elle a, on a. Well, <laughs> nous avons, vous avez, ils ont, elles ont, okay? Présent of avoir. The second auxiliary is être. Être means to be, okay? Être. Je suis, I am, tu es, il est, elle est, on est, nous sommes, vous êtes, ils sont, and elles sont. Okay, so I am, you are, he is, she is, and so on. Okay, so Mohamed, yet well done. Pronom sujet auxiliaire and passé composé and passé part, pass participle. Um, okay, you shouldn't struggle with this. J'ai and je. Can you hear the difference? J'ai and je. Two different things. So here we go. 
j e e sound and how do you pronounce je je okay can you see that so you shouldn't try, uh, struggle with that it's um it, it's quite you know quite different sound anyway to go back to oh gosh what have i done to go back to our formula we have the subject pronoun that you can find here we've got the auxiliary so that could be either to have in the present tense or to be okay and then like mohammed said past participle so past participle i'm going to do past participle here okay okay but what is a past participle well in french you take a verb for example jouer the past participle of jouer is jouer with an accent so it is to play and the past participle is the past participle so played i think it's better if i show you a verb uh that is actually from a third group because you see the difference for example manger in french is a first group verb so therefore the past participle is going to be what am i doing it's going to be manger with an accent so you drop the r you add the accent in english look very carefully to eat is the infinitive but the past participle is eaten can you see that and eaten can only be used with an auxiliary i have eaten you don't say i eaten do you and that's what a past participle is it has to be used with an auxiliary verb the same way as our past participle have to be used in french okay so um uh, bonjour trisha she's insistent uh shreya j'ai mangé absolutely so you take an auxiliary verb okay you take um the past participle and here you've got the formula of so it can be anything with a e accent it can be anything with an i if it's a second group verb so that's the first group verb that's the second group verb and unfortunately for us it can be anything in the third group so it can be a u ending for example can you guys and i'm going to ask you a question think of a third group past participle can you throw at me some third group past participle which means irregular verb into that past participle form can you do that uh, for me can you give me that yes well done uh, Mi- mirko okay so lu bu su okay keep keep them going keep them going uh avoir is one but what is it it's u aller oh you're good me you're very good vendu <laughs> you're good okay anything else vécu venu okay uh plus wow you're very good you're very good connu connu okay i'm going to stop here you obviously know your stuff okay so what i've just done here and i apologize for my lousy handwriting that's uh, voulu voulu is a good one i'm going to write voulu here so voulu okay each one of these verb uh, of verb obviously come from an infinitive verb okay so for example voulu is vouloir to want but the past participle of that verb is voulu lu is lire to read lu okay bu is boire to drink su is savoir savoir to know u is avoir avoir aller is aller and yet Aller is highly irregular. It's the only ER verb that is not in the first group verb. Me is mettre. 
Vendu is vendre. Vécu is vivre. Sorry, mettre is to put. Vendre is to sell. Vivre is to live. Venu is to venir, to come. OK? Plu is pleuvoir, to rain. And connu is connaître, to know. OK? So, well done. I'm, I'm very impressed. And yes, Shreya, it is to be. You're good. You're good. Well done. Well done. OK. Uh, GB, can I make a video on conjugation in imperfect? I have done so many, so many. So if you have not or don't, don't know what's happening on my, uh, on my channel, on YouTube channel, just type uh, imperfect and you've got it all explained. There are over 700 videos at Learn French with Alexa. And by the way, someone asked me about the subjunctive. And I tell you, I won't do the subjunctive now. Okay, because it takes too long to explain the subjunctive. But I have explained this in detail. I think I've got three full lessons of an hour explaining the subjunctive on my new website, Learn French with Alexa. And I think it's lesson 30, 31, uh, where you have dialogues in subjunctive. You've got uh, reading comprehension in subjunctive. You've got the whole lesson in subjunctive. So. If you want more details about grammatically, you know, grammatical points of B1, C1, C2, I cover all levels, go to Learn French with Alexa, my channel, uh, not my channel, my website. And by the way, there is 20% off at the moment. So anyway, to go back to the passé composé, une classe de 5 dans ma chambre à regarder. Oh, bonjour Arnold. Arnold is watching us. There are lots of you. Hello, everybody. Hello. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, okay. So we carry on. Boire is bu. So you may wonder why on earth look at these verbs. They don't look anything like they do in the infinitive form in the past participle. And this is why they are third group verb. And this is why they are so highly irregular. So when you're going to say, for example, I read in the passé composé, you use the auxiliary J'ai, I have, and then the past participle, lu, quite simply. So, j'ai lu. I would like you to learn the main verbs, third group verbs, and their main past participle, because that will help you, uh, especially if you are taking exams. I know that in India, you take a lot of exams of B1, C1 level, B2 level. Um, I, I think it will be really useful if you had a proper list of, you know, past participle for you to, to learn by heart. So you are accurate. Okay. Um, so we would like, um, je suis en train de préparer les examens. Okay. So Oli, uh, who is preparing for B2 uh, levels, it's quite a high level. Watch the video with Stefania, by the way, uh, the last video before this one, where she explains how she managed to get to the C one level. It's an amazing little video and she is an amazing person. Uh, what a learner, I tell you. Anyway, so we have learned, and I'm going to go back, that we need either the auxiliary avoir in a present tense to conjugate in the passé composé and être. Okay. And this is where my reflexive lesson comes up. You know, I'm trying to squeeze everything in in no time here. Okay. Where you have to conjugate the reflexive verbs, and we call that pronominal verbs as well, it's in a passive, in a passive composé, it's more complicated because you've got to think of two things here. What is the auxiliary I need? And what is the reflexive pronoun that I need to use? Okay, and I know it's one of the questions that I was asked uh, early on. So here we go. When you conjugate a passé composé with être, okay, a verb in a passé composé with être, you must know être in the present tense. Je suis, tu es, il est, elle est, on est, nous sommes, vous êtes, ils sont. And one of you guys said, oh yes, this is Dr. and Mrs. Van der Tromp verbs. And it's an acronym to describe the movement verbs. All these movement verbs, and go back to my video on Mr. and Mrs. Van der Tromp, all these movement verbs are conjugated in the past with the auxiliary verb 
être. So if you learn this, you will know that they automatically go with être. Je suis allé. To go. Je suis descendu. I went down. Je suis venu. I came. So you see, these are all movement verbs. Okay? So you, um, you learn these by heart. Now another thing is, when you conjugate with être in a passé composé, okay, passé composé with être, it is used not only with the movement verb, it is used with the reflexive verbs, okay? So, reflexive verbs are a bit tricky, but listen to me. Regardez bien. Okay, listen very carefully. For example, we have... Well, a reflexive verb. Could you? I'm going to, to start like that. What is a reflexive verb? Can you give me a reflexive verb, please? Do you think you can do that? Give me a reflexive verb. And I'm going to write a few here, okay, because I know you are very good. Okay, to you, go on, give me a reflexive verb. What's your reflexive verb? Uh, okay, s'habiller is a good one. S'habiller. Okay, s'habiller, se laver. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you, you're quick, wait. Se lever, I can't keep up. <laughs> se réveiller, okay, se réveiller, okay. <laughs> wait, se doucher, <laughs> se doucher. I can't keep up and I can't see. Se retourner, okay. Se retourner, okay. Uh, se coucher, Have I, uh, se coucher is a good one, yeah. Se coucher, s'appeler, okay. S'appeler, se laver, I've got that. What else? Se brosser, très bien. You're good. Se brosser, I love that you're following. Uh, S'appeler, we've got that. Se téléphoner. Uh, se téléphoner, okay. So basically, se sentir is a good one. Okay. So, se réfléchir. Se réf Je me réfléchis. Nous nous réfléchissons. Um, no. Ah, uh, as in to reflect. I'm not sure about se réfléchir. Okay, so here we go. Se manquer, yes, that, that can work too, right. Now, if you do not know what a reflexive verb is, the indication in French is this. This thing here. Okay. The fact that we have se in front of a verb makes it reflexive. And reflexive in the noun is to reflex to reflect back to you, okay? So it, it brings your, it brings the verb back to you. Regarder, to watch. But you add se in front of it, se regarder, to watch yourself, okay? Se disputer is a good one. Well done, study. S'entendre, joke, is a good one too. So, se détendre, Madison, as well. Yes, that's a good one. Uh, Yamini, I'm too good. I'm so good. Okay. Do you know what? I can't see. I wish I had my, my glasses. Uh, right. So, take this verb. Ignore for a minute. Let's have a look. Ignore the beginning here of that. Well, in effect, these verbs can be used without their reflexive pronouns. Habiller. Because you can dress someone. It's no longer reflexive. The subject, the object of that verb is someone else. Laver. You can wash your dog. So, laver un chien. Le chien is the complement. It's not you. Okay. Lever. As in, you, you, you stand up and you stand one of your children. You get them up. Okay. So, so these verbs can be used as a non-reflexive verb. But if you want to make them reflexive... You add se, 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 okay. But, and this is not it. When you want to use them using a subject pronoun, what you have to do is not put se, je se, tu se, il se, elle se, is you've got to agree this subject, this reflexive pronoun with the subject pronoun you're using, okay? So someone asked me earlier, but why do we have je me? Well, where's the me coming from? But that's where it's coming from. It's coming from the fact that I am suddenly transforming my verb into a reflexive verb, so back to me, just by adding 
the right reflexive pronoun. Am I am I okay here? Have I lost you or are we good? Are we good? Um, uh, where you live in France, English teacher? Aditya, I don't live in France. J'habite en Angleterre. And Poualam, thank you, my dear. Thank you. Okay, so here we go. This is where we go. Uh, so, je me, tu, te, il, se, elle, se, on, se, nous, nous, vous, vous, il, se, elle, se. Okay, so here what we've done, what we've done, okay, uh, we have, and uh, yes, Simonta001 has just put, je me lave tous les matins, I wash myself. And by adding me, it reflects, the verb reflects back to you, okay? So, vous, vous. Yes, I, I mean, vous, vous. Okay. She lives in England according to her first video, Mohamed. Have you been doing some research on me? Have you been Googling me? Yes, I do live in England. <laughs> okay, so um, English teacher in France, watch out. You've got to do something here. It's very good what you're doing. Je me regarde, not regarder, because in effect you have to conjugate regarder, which is here in its infinitive form, and agreed with je. For je in the present tense is i. Je me regarde. Je me regarde. So here we go. Je me lève, tu te lèves, je te noue, je te vous regarde. My call, huge, you would say, je vous regarde ou je te regarde. Okay. But it's no longer a reflexive pronoun here. It's a relative pronoun. Okay. It's an object pronoun. Okay. Direct object pronoun. And that's another lesson. Okay, because in effect, you're not watching yourself. Je me regarde, you are watching me. So, je te regarde. So, it's bringing the verb, putting it away from you. Do you see what I mean? So, watch out. There is a difference between the direct object pronouns and the reflexive pronouns. Um, oh my God, that sounds so difficult. Okay, here we go. So, we've got the reflexive, je me, tu te, il se, elle se, elle se, nous, nous, vous, vous, il se. And it sounds weird, the nous, nous, and the vous, vous. And then you want to conjugate that verb in the passé composé. I've just told you that this verb, être, is definitely the verb you want in the passé composé for reflexive verb. Okay? So, knowing that, we are going to go like this. Je me suis. Tu te. Sorry, I need to put E apostrophe here. Il se, and again. Elle se, on se. Okay, and this is, uh, tu es, je suis, tu es, il est, elle est, on se. So all I'm adding is that little um, uh, pronoun in front. Nous, nous sommes. Vous, vous êtes. Ils se sont. Elles se sont. Okay, quite simple. Okay. Nikita, yes. Uh, tu t'es. Okay. Bonjour de Eritrea. Oh, Eritrea. Eritrean. I love the food. Love that food. Uh, uh, English teacher, you good. I'm, I'm a French teacher. <laughs> uh, I forgot to. Okay, right. <laughs> okay. It's a bit difficult at first, but you will get it with practice. Thank you, uh, Simon Ta001. Ta okay, so here we go. So we've got this, um, this thing now. So what are we missing? Remember, we are using a passé composé. Okay, what is it you are missing? Okay, we are missing... We are missing a past participle. Okay, so let me... I'm going to write past participle here. And we've seen all the past participle early on, haven't we? We know that you drop the R and you add an accent if it's a first group verb. We know that you drop the R and you just keep E if it's a second group verb. And we know for a fact, because you've given it to me, that the past participle for all these verbs are like that. Okay? So, for verbs such as s'habiller, the past participle is habiller. Just like that, because it's ER, I know that. For laver, the past participle is la... Sorry about that. 
la V. For lever, the past participle is lever. For réveiller, it's réveiller. So it seems like lots of them are ER grip anyway. Okay. Um, so, uh, Nikita, je me suis réfléchi is not, doesn't work. I wonder uh, what the translation of that you would uh, be. Aditya, je me suis habillé is perfect. Okay. So, and so let's have a look at that. Let's take, for example, habillé. Okay. And there we've got it. Je me suis habillé. I dressed myself. Can you see that? Because it's reflexive, we know that. That's the indication that there is a reflexive verb, okay? Um, and it's in the passé composé because it's composed of a, a, an auxiliary verb and a past participle, okay? So, uh, you can do that for any reflexive verb. So, tu t'es, for example, levé, you got up, okay? Here's the past participle. Il, elle, s'est douché. Okay, so they had a shower, so they showered themselves. Hey, hello, Ethiopia. Hello. Bonjour. Do you know what I love is that? Is that you are from all over the world. And I tell you, you know, I know that sometimes uh, the world is not united, but it's certainly united in my channel. And I love that. I love that there is no, ah, no political, cool things, you know, tarnishing our relationship. I love that we are all equal and uh, that uh, the language French is bringing us together. So thank you. I'm super, super proud of you. Anyway, uh, I carry on. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay. Now, uh, if I carry on with my verb, nous nous sommes couchés. Okay. And I'm going to do something here. Why do you think we've added in this example a ness? Okay. Because we're using coucher, it's a reflexive, se coucher, to lie down. Okay, se coucher. But here's nous. And the reason why we're adding an s is because the past participle must agree in gender and number with the pronoun you're using. So in this case, because we are using to be, it has to agree with nous, okay? And it just happened that nous is plural, okay? So we add an S to agree the past participle to this gender, okay, and number, okay? It works only if you're using to be as an auxiliary, not to have. There are exceptions, of course. English teacher and French plural. Yes, I've just explained why, okay? Uh, why? Happy birthday. I did, yes. It's Aditya's birthday. Happy birthday, Aditya. <laughs> Can you explain more about passé composé? Baha, where have you been over the last 30 minutes? I have. I have. Okay. Uh, you don't add an S with avoir. Tara, you don't. Unless it is uh, preceded by a, sub, uh, a relative pronoun. But that's another... Um, just leave it. It's another... It's another lesson. Okay, so uh, to finish, what did we have as well? Se coucher, uh, se retourner, s'habiller, se laver, se lever, and so on. So you get the picture, okay, of, for example, we are going to say retourner. And here, of course, you would have either an S or an ES if it's related to a lady, lady groups group, okay? So, this is how to conjugate the reflexive verb in the passé composé. Now, what I want to know here, have I answered your question? I know that uh, some of the questions were uh, different, okay? Uh, is the reflexive verbs, 
I have just done that. Watch the video again. I have just <laughs> explained how to deal with reflexive verbs. And of course, we've got here, and I'm going to bring it back here. Uh, you have here the formula for the passé composé. But if you want to use any of these verbs in the present tense, conjugate them the same way as you would uh, a present tense. So, je, and then take the right pronoun, me, and then abi. For example, with the e because it's the present. Okay. Oh, by the way, that has to have an uh, an apostrophe here. Okay. So uh, I, I'm just just watch it watch watch it again. So you conjugate it the same way. Watch the videos over and over again. I am teaching you so many things. There are so many things. Um, uh, Priyansh, you can't do demonstrative adjectives. However, on the website, there is everything from A1 level to C2 levels. You will We cover absolutely every grammatical point that you need for your exams. Okay, so you want demonstrative adjective lessons? It's in the website. Okay. Uh, I would like to know the difference between the pronunciation of the ending sound of words like aimerait and aimé. Can you hear that? Aimerait, aimé. Two different sounds. Yeah? A and a. Again, I have lots of videos on pronunciation, so watch that. Uh, hello, Sudan. A lot of people from Africa. And hello, Africa. Okay, I know that we are watching South America quite a lot in America, Australia, everywhere actually we are watching. So, anyway, um, do uh, have a look at Stefania's video uh, on, on the YouTube channel. Uh, she's a wonderful person and she tells you and gives you some tips of how to reach a C C2 level, I think she reached, and what she's doing in Paris now. Uh, anyway, um, have I answered your question, guys? Okay, it's it's so hard to try to do everything in thirty minutes, um, and uh, but uh, hopefully, hopefully, um, you have learned something. Uh, bonjour, Madame. Selon vous, prendra combien de temps pour avancer depuis Delph B to à Delph C one, s'il vous plaît? Um, very good. Um, a uh, very, very good lesson. Oh la la, France. I <laughs> love that. Oh la la, France. Um, do you know what? There is such a gap between B2 and C1 level that I think it will take you much longer to get there than the first levels, uh, A1, A2, B1, B2. And the reason being is that at that point, B2 level, you have a good level, but you're ready for the next step which is to practice and speak, 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 and practice what you know with French speakers. And that's the only way you will have this, uh, you know, this level. I, I think there is one point where you can't just learn with lessons, and there is a point where you really have to uh, try to uh, exercise what you know, your knowledge in practice, if that makes sense. Can you please some advance about speaking practice that that, Mr. Uh, the Savannah, um, it's that, it's practice with someone, practice with a, uh, a, a teacher, a proper practice with a friend, join a friend, groups of friends, wherever you are in the world, uh, join people, there must be French people, there must be, even in India. You know, um, actually, I'd love to come to India. So invite me over, someone organizes a conference with me and I come. Okay, so uh, would it be LC douche because of adjective? Yes, study. You've learned something. Well done, you. It would absolutely. Uh, I have a problem in present, past, and future tense. Okay, but here, that's the next live. Okay, I promise you that. So come for the next live, um, and then uh, we uh, will uh, we'll learn that. Thank you, Tammy. Au revoir. And thank you to all the members that have joined this live as well. Now, as you know, if you're a member and of my website and on YouTube, if you join uh, the YouTube button, you get access to the exclusive live lessons. And the live lessons are very different. I describe pictures. I talk more uh, properly about more properly. 
you know, a bit uh, more in details about certain grammatical points. And we do uh, translation, we do listening exercises, we do lots of things like that. So, um, when will it be? Roxana, the next live in January, I think. Oh, no, there's possibly one just before Christmas to wish you a Merry Christmas. So I think there is one on the week of the 17th. So that's the next live. Anyway, lots of love to you all wherever you are in the world. And I love you very much. Au revoir, à bientôt. Et puis, bisous, bisous. Salut.